Hey folks, I uh, wanted to record a walkthrough of the 1511 um, pipeline execution planning issue. Uh, this will be the last kickoff that I record. Uh, this is our refinement kickoff um, as we start planning for the issue and refining the issues uh, in or planning the milestone and refining the issues in the milestone. Um, so 1511 is um, the release that will uh, release in April, I believe. Um, and so we're going to be starting doing refinement on this in March. Uh, so for the issues that are already in the milestone, um, the theme that I pulled out is better scheduled pipeline experience. Um, some of the goals for that are a couple of bugs that we have around not being able to see easily that failed sketch or scheduled pipelines rather are failing. Um, so we have a couple of different uh, bugs in here showing an error in the schedules UI. Um, so that you can easily see among your scheduled pipelines which ones are failing or which ones have had a failure most recently. Um, and then no notifications for failed scheduled pipeline. The MVC for this is to send an email on that failed pipeline calling out that a scheduled pipeline is failing. Um, that might end up being a little painful for the user, but it will be a good signal to them that your scheduled pipeline is failing. Um, so those are the two bugs that lead up to that goal. Um, the other uh, goal that I have for the, us for the milestone um, is making progress on CI gaps. First, that we have a couple of issues. Uh, the first is um, what we've broken out of that very popular issue around timeouts and cancellations that AfterScript is not running. We've broken out the cancellation uh, use case and ensuring that a canceled uh, when a pipeline is canceled, that those jobs or the canceled job runs as AfterScript um, always. This is a lot easier than the timeout because we know that we still have connection to the runner. Um, so we can execute that after script um, on that runner. And then the other is the spike um, around figuring out the level of effort to build out the fast forward merge support uh, for merge trains. The object realignment issue that we've identified as the blocker is also in the milestone. Um, this issue, which I'll go ahead and open up. Um, so this is all also in the milestone. Um, I would call this a stretch in the milestone. The primary um, focus really around the merge trains is going to be the spike of understanding, is that still the right thing to go do? Is all of the work called out in that issue um, to make sure that we understand what we really need to do to go execute on the fast forward merge? Because that's a very popular um, open issue and a feature that we should implement to advance the merge trains category and feature set um, for better uh, user experience overall. Um, so we didn't have any verified P1s, any forced prioritization, step one, uh, infrastructure issues as of this recording. So I have bumped up those to uh, ensure after script and the level of effort to the verified P1. Um, there are no infra dev, like I mentioned, and some verified P2s in there uh, are listed here. Uh, no bugs of note that aren't already a verified P1 or P2. Um, I didn't see any feature flags, quality tests, or docs improvements specifically called out in the issues that are scheduled. Um, and the other thing that I want to call out that isn't in uh, or scheduled for the milestone are the uh, deprecations or removals that are coming in 16.0. And so we may want to take advantage of a lighter uh, milestone, planned milestone in 15.11 to get spikes started or even get implementation started on those removals to get them behind a feature flag so that when 16 rolls out, we can make sure that we hit those dates that we've already told people we're going to be removing and changing those things. Uh, the inbound CI job token will be default. The other workflow will be gone. Um, there's the rest of them are um, totally escaping me right now, but I will add them to this issue uh, and link to them in the video description. Um, so that is uh, the kickoff for 1511 refinement and planning. Uh, thanks so much. Cheers.